Well, on my way home from work, um, it's getting kind of dark. I had to pull over really quickly because the check engine light came on and the engine started putting really badly and hesitating. Couldn't even press the gas pedal to go above 40. So luckily I had my uh, code reader with me and code P0305 popped up um, on the uh, scanner right here, which indicates a misfire and cylinder number five so p0305 the last number will always be what's your cylinder um has the problem so if it's p0302 it's you know number two but on this case it's p0305 so uh yeah got a little bit nervous because i was you know kind of far away from the house it was a ton of traffic on a friday uh evening just before the christmas holiday starts so I was really nervous because, like, should I stay here? Should I try it? I don't want to damage the engine. Uh, but, you know, after all, this had to be fixed right away. But trying to zoom into the engine uh, compartment. So I ran down to Advanced Auto Parts and I got me uh, a replacement ignition uh, coil uh, pack. And you know, it's a pack because it controls two spark plugs uh, for each cylinder. Went ahead and got a new one of those. Um, and just in case, if you were wondering, um, with your code P030 and then whatever that number after that would be, if it's one through eight, um, it's listed right here on the tip if, like that's facing towards the front of the engine. But if you look right here on the little tip right here, it has five and the rest has the corresponding number, um, for it. And the A and B is for the positions of the coil. The Bosch ones have it listed too. But that was kind of like underneath of the plugs where the A and B is to hook up your uh, ignition wires. Um, at that point, in that time at, at the night, um, I really thought it was the uh, ignition coil that was going bad on the car. So I decided to pop one of those on to kind of problem solve because I don't know how new or how old those were. So I was kind of like, okay, let's take care of at least that. Um, one problem. And, you know, I already have uh, new spark plugs. Do my other video on there um in combination okay so i installed my uh new coil pack put everything back together and erased the codes you gotta remember you have to work with the computer at all times so don't don't forget that so i uh, went to delete the code and let it read and see what's going on fingers were crossed you know what i'm saying what we got it was we erased are we good you know drum rolls kind of da -da 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 -da, kind of thing we got our fingers crossed fingers crossed let's see what happens and that didn't solve the problem all right so off camera i went ahead and um decided to check the plugs that i just put in because they're brand new spark plugs were no good and the only way i know is because i popped in two new spark plugs um put everything back together to coil the wires and hook the um obd2 code reader back in in the car did a reading the code came back erased it and it read it again boom all codes cleared so it looks like i solved that problem but when you're doing this for each cylinder like i said p030 whatever the corresponding cylinder would be so that's one through eight um whatever cylinder that you're working with uh if you if you have the money you know buy the parts that are that are there for it and then problem solve with the computer the computer will keep leading you in the right direction so mine's uh wasn't the coil pack wasn't the wires but it was the spark plugs i don't know how old my coil packs are but i'm going to replace those one by one and of course the wires are going next because the tune-up is usually a hundred thousand miles or five years with this car and it wasn't done with mine so i'm doing it now and hopefully this information will help you guys if you're seeing those p30 whatever the cylinder is in my case p0305 and how to solve that